Dolmaba Sa Palace History Dolmaba Sa Palace, located in the Besiktas district of Istanbul, on the European coastline of the Bosporus Strait, served as the main administrative center of the Ottoman Empire, apart from a 22-year interval in which Yildiz Palace was used. Dolmaba the palace was ordered by the empire's 31st sultan, Abdulmejid I. Hachi Said Aga was responsible for the construction works, while the project was realized by architect Scarabet Balian, his son Nigageos Balian, and Evanes Kalfa. The construction cost 5 million Ottoman gold coins, the equivalent of 35 tons of gold. 14 tons of gold in the form of gold leaf were used to gild the ceilings of the 45,000 square meter Manoblok Palace, which stands on an area of 110,000 square meters. The design contains eclectic elements from the Baroque, Rococo and Neoclassical styles, blended with traditional Ottoman architecture to create a new synthesis. The palace layout and decor reflect the increasing influence of European styles and standards on Ottoman culture and art during the Tanzimat period. Functionally, on the other hand, it retains elements of traditional Ottoman palace life, and also features of traditional Turkish homes. It is the largest palace in Turkey, Considering that the area of the monoblock building occupies 45,000 square meters. Previously, the Sultan and his family had lived at the Top Copy Palace, but as Top Copy was lacking in up to date luxury and style, Abdul Masid decided to build the Dal Mabahsa Palace near the site of the former Besiktas Palace on the Bosporus, which was demolished. Whereas the top copy has exquisite examples of Iznik tiles and Ottoman carving, the Dolmabahsa Palace contains much gold and crystal. Tourists are free to wander top copy at their leisure, while the only way to see the interior of Dolmabahsa is with a guided tour. Dolmabahsa Palace was home to six sultans from 1856 when it was first inhabited, up until the abolition of the Caliphate. The last royal to live here was Caliph Abdulmejid Efendi. A law that went into effect in 1924 transferred the ownership of the palace to the national heritage of the new Turkish Republic. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey, used the palace as a presidential residence during the summers and enacted some of his most important works here. Ataturk spent the last days of his medical treatment in this palace. He world's largest bohemian crystal chandelier is in the center hall. The chandelier, a gift from Queen Victoria, has 750 lamps and weighs 4.5 tons. Dolmabahsa has the largest collection of Bohemian and Bakhara crystal chandeliers in the world, and one of the great staircases has banisters of Bakhara crystal. The site of Dolmabahsa was originally a bay on the Bosporus which was reclaimed gradually during the 18th century to become an imperial garden, much appreciated by the Ottoman sultans. It is from this garden that the name Dolmabahsa, filled in garden, comes from the Turkish dolma meaning, filled, and bas meaning, garden. Various summer palaces were built here during the 18th and 19th centuries.